what is up guys this is your boy the real broke and i am making this video to show you crashes crosshair generator and this is a really easy generator to use and i will show you just how easy it is right now so when you enter this map you get confronted with this little background a backdrop of different maps and you can change between the different ones so that you'll be able to tell how your crosshair will be able to do on different maps and different backgrounds. Now the first option you get is to change the crosshair style. The one I prefer is the static one which is number 4 so I will shoot that and it will present me with a bunch of different options. And if I want to change the size, that's really easy to do, I'll just shoot at the size and it will give me this uh, little dashboard with different options. So I can reset the size to zero, now I can't see anything. I might want to make it bigger, which obviously I do because I want a crosshair that I'll be able to see. So I get these different uh, increments of size increase to my crosshair size. And that's really easy to use, isn't it, guys? Well, um, and then thickness. I want it to not be as thick as it is right now, so let's go with this. Maybe I want a little slightly bigger gap because I want to be able to have the dot, and maybe I want the outline. There we go, as that will make my crosshair easier to see even if I'm on something yellow. Now I can also change the color of my crosshair. Uh, white is probably a bad color because that can easily disappear on different backgrounds. So maybe I'll just go with the classic green color. Now what I'll also be able to do is just turn around and look at this wall. Here you got crosshairs for different pros and you got the teams at the top and then you got the players down on each row. So maybe I want to play like with the crosshair that I don't know Pasha uses or maybe I want to play with the one that Happy uses. They're pretty much all here and there's a few other on this wall and in the back there's what I believe is probably crosshairs that pro players used to use in uh, the past and now they use the ones out in the front is my guess. I'm not actually entirely sure about that. And then I guess we've got some different custom ones. I'm not sure if these are just player submitted or how this works. And. Uh, got these ones on this wall as well. I mean, I know some of these names and this is Crashes and he's the guy who made this uh, this map, which is a really nice map to change your cross area in. It's really easy, you don't have to use the console for anything. And then there's the banana gaming one. That's kind of official and that's kind of funny how it drops bananas when you shoot it. Uh, when you select this one. As your crosshair. Now I want you, I want to show you this test area before we go to this uh, screen right here. So the test area is basically just a few bots spawning in front of this backdrop that you can change around just like you did in the main room, which is really nice. And you'll be able to shoot at these bots. Oh wow! Oh man, I give up. I can't hit that. And then if you go to this uh, little place off to the side, you'll be able to shoot at some bots spawning on these uh, different levels. Wow, why does that not hit? You can see his head right in the middle of my crosshair. But still it's only like 20% chance of hitting. And then I noticed the, this uh, little funny easter egg with this chicken. It's holding two AKs and if you uh, start shooting at it, it will grow bigger in size. With hope. Which is, yeah, kind of funny, you know? Just a little easter egg. Anyways, back to this wall. What you can do is actually save your different crosshairs. 
And uh, when you save these, you have four slots of saving your crosshairs to. And it makes it really easy to um, have different ones because you'll be able to load the crosshairs again really easy. If you have a few different ones that you like and you're not really sure about which one you prefer, you can just go into this map and change it and change it around and you'll be able to figure out which one you actually like most. And you can always restore your crosshair to the crosshair that you had when you entered the map as well. And you can reset the crosshair to the default one, which I don't like. And you can also shoot at this share crosshair button, which will open the console with the commands that you need to share to a friend for them to get the same crosshair as the one you currently have. So yeah, anyways, if you have anything that you would like me to make a video about, just let me know and I will try to make that happen because I really just want to make helpful videos. Anyways guys, thanks for watching.